What's up guys and girls, Uber Mike SoCal here with another update to my YouTube channel. In today's update, this is going to be a continuation of a video I made not too long ago about an app I found called Surge Chaser. The link will be in the description down below. This video is how to use Surge Chaser to not only get more money making Uber, but to inform you of all the changes and updates that come along with the surge pricing in your area. So without further ado, I'm break it down for you of how to use Surge Chaser after my experimentation with it in the past few days. So basically you download the Surge Chaser app either on Google Play or the Apple iPhone store, whatever your case is. You log in with Uber here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will show you how to work this app. It's really easy actually. So basically it pops up a map of where you're at. You'll see a little indicator right here. Yeah, right there on the, um, the screen. It's a little teal or green icon. That is a pinpoint on the map that I've chosen. That particular one is at Disneyland area for Southern California in Anaheim. So for me, I like to start out there on certain days, usually weekdays. And I would like to know when surge happens in that area. So all you do is you tap and you hold the spot on the map to check for surge. So basically you do that, you can label it and notify it of what you, whatever you want to call it. I called that one Catella because that's the street that is one of the main cross streets of Disneyland. So I set up about two or three of those, one in Newport Beach, one in Costa Mesa, and one near Disneyland, just for surge pricing throughout the day. And what this app will do is it'll notify you via a push notification to your phone and it'll say Catella 1.5 surge or whatever you set it to. It can be anywhere from 1.1 on up to like eight, nine times, whatever. I set mine at 1.5 because I felt that was a good start. Um, you could set it at 2.0, whatever you feel comfortable with. It'll appear as a pin on the map. And basically you don't need to be logged in to Uber itself and the Surge Chaser app at the same time. What you do need to do is start the Surge Chaser app first. That will automatically log you into your Uber app. Just sign in when you're ready and whenever you're ready to drive and online you're going to notice all of these um, pinpoints on the map. They're going to light up for you in terms of a notification on your phone. It'll say 1.5 surge at this area or 2.3 surge at this area. That way you can keep an eye on it and it'll let you know exactly where to go to make the most money. So in conclusion, this app is a free app. It lasts for about a month, I believe. I've only had it for a few days, so I'll have a further update on that. I am not being paid by any app provider or anything like that as part of this video. No compensation for that. It's not a plug for them. I just found the app very helpful and I think you would too. So check the description down below where it says more and I'll have a direct link there that you can check it out called Surge Chaser. Thank you very much guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment down below. What do you think about this app? Is it good? Does it suck? What do you think? And finally, hit subscribe to my videos if you have not already. It's free of charge. gets you all my videos, past, present, and future from yours truly, Uber Mike SoCal. Thank you very much guys. See you next time.